is overrating the Orca principle. Without Raila, that coalition can only garner 1.5 million votes. It's no secret that Ruto only fears Raila's candidacy, that is Fred Umberti. Also, we have Elvis254 saying, I think Raila needs 30% of the mountain to win the elections. Of let, uh, have seen the mountain Kenya or the Mount Kenya people turning to Baba. The grounds is shifting slowly. Orca is just a kiosk. As I told you, said, they want to begin to earn millions of money by supporting the two horses. Also, we have Rafael Kamau saying, fact, Mount Kenya just doesn't like Raila Odinga. William Ruto is resonating with the people. However, DP must get a running mate from Mount Kenya to be assured of our votes. Also, we have Felix saying, UDA was never meant to last. It doesn't consist with uh, Kenyan face. Uh, it's Kalenjin party. The ex urp we want a government that relates and share power to all Kenyans, all 42 tribes in the Republic. Those are some of your tweets here. I shall be something some of them much, much later in the course of the program. Uh, let's just continue with uh, this conversation. I, I think I've lost my sequence. We, we, it was Farah, madam. Thank you. Farah. Yeah. Okay, Farah, you've had all these sentiments as well. Yes. You, from your own assessment, do you think the deputy president can run as a maverick? The deputy president, the best case scenario for the deputy president is to have Raila as, 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 as an opponent. Is to do what? The, as to as have Raila Odinga. As an opponent. As an opponent. And you say if Raila runs if as Raila an opponent, he's a shoe in for the deputy president. He has a very powerful chance. Why do you say that? You think Raila Odinga has lost look, his hoodspur look, and uh, Jeunesse look, Lacroix? He doesn't have that also. Look, but Raila is running. Look, let me, let me, let me tell you, there's going to be too many candidates right now. So if Raila runs, of course, and the candidates are more than that, you can rest assured nobody's going to win on there. Well, I'm not quite sure, but even if somebody wins, it's going to be a very small margin to win on the first round. But the reality of the matter, depending on where the swing vote of the, of the mountain is going to be, and the mountain is likely to spin a surprise. You see, for the longest... The mountain people have been demonizing Janamogi and subsequently his son. Well, the leaders. Listen. And, and the impression that was built is that this guy and the people he comes from are lazy people. They have a passion for consumption. They want to have the best suits, the best cars, and best houses, and they want to work for it. They're going to come and take our farms, and they're going to take our wealth, and they're going to take even our wives. This is basically the kind of impression that has been built over the period of time. And, and then of also going much beyond that. And you've seen the, the, the election campaigns of, of all these years. To try and change that in one year, to say the least, is a very, very tough job that is unassailable. You cannot gain that. And that's why the relevance of Ruto is coming in right now. That if the worst, if it's going to be a choice between the two, we'll go for that. The same way Kenyatta made a choice between Jaramogi and Moi and ended up with Moi, with all the, basically, the, the cryings and the rest of it, which they were saying is a passing cloud and the rest of it. But they were much more comfortable than the assumption that you're going to have somebody from the left side as the president. Now, that is a problem. And that is definitely going to... The assumption some people are making right now around, around Uhuru and all those young is that he already has a vote, what do you call, basket of 7.5 million, or I can't remember how much it was last time. And then all he needs is a little bit of a top-up. No. Those were, those were the wiper votes, those were the uh, ANC votes, those were the people from the coast province, those were the people from the northeastern province, because it's easy to marshal. It's easy. Mark my words. It's easy to marshal the rest of the country when you say there is a Kikui hegemony here. These people don't think the rest of the Kenyans deserve to run this country the way they have run it for all these years. So it's very easy for Raila or his father, Raila for that matter, or even if it was his father, to get massive support from the rest of the country. But remove that. I remember uh, in the Mali elections, there was a guy who was called Selin, who is a friend of mine. I've met him, actually. He was a flanny. In the first round, he ended up with 47%, 46-47% of the total votes. All he needed is an additional 3 or 4%. They went for the second round. He's a Fulani himself. The Fulani is the biggest community there, the majority. And there is the Mambras and the Mandinka and many other communities that live in Mali. 
when it comes to a Fulani, they, it's easier for them to come. 46% this guy had on the first round. The second round, I can't remember which is Alpha Conde who came in, who had 17%, ended up getting well over 50%. Actually, he lost that by one more vote. I think he was 46 to 45 in the second round. I just he actually lost more votes because everybody else ganged up against him. Everybody else from all those minorities. The one who had 5%, 10%, mm -hmm. 17%, and the one who had 17% won. So when, you, when, when this, these massive passions are there, even if you have somebody who uh, looks like he has a massive base now, but it's easy then to demonize that and say that guy comes into power, the rest of us are done. Then it's easy for people to come together fully and to debunk that. Mm -hmm. My position is that, and we will, you know, we will say these things and it will be vindicated in less than two weeks from today. One, Friday we are going to get that thing. And by the way, that's not the end of it. Even if the whole of BBI is thrown out, still Parliament can create a, 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 a kind of a constitutional amendment that is going to change the structure of, that, of what you call the governance, the executive itself, uh, you know, not in a fundamental way of calling somebody uh, a, a prime minister or a deputy prime minister because those are not, not provided in the current constitution, but then you can decide something along a chief minister or a minister who coordinates all the other ministries the way now Matiangi is doing, but effectively becoming uh, a, a de facto prime minister. Mm -hmm. And then you get two other smaller ones who are going to be given uh, so many ministries, this one, and so many ministries, the other thing. So to, uh, to operationalize certain aspects of the, the, the BBI will actually become not such a difficult thing for you to satisfy that broad coalition. Come to Ruto. He says we're not going to have a coalition. What a hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. UD, URP and TNA came together to form a coalition. And they were very happy with that. Uh, you know, a few years later, 10 years or 9 years later, you come together and you say, no, we'll only have one party, and that party is a party, and there's no coalition. Effectively, whether you call it alliance or you call it coalition, as long as there's one definition of a party called UDA, Thank it's you. a single party. So then you see it's, it's an indication that there's a need to monopolize power. And in this country, right now, what we're doing, one of the reasons why we miss the government, coalition government, is that when you create an imperial president who has all the powers himself and is not what you call it, not dispersed, then you have a problem. Thank you. Uh, let me come to Colin Sodote and... Uh, Imperial presidency. It has right now. What's no. who, who is an imperial president? No, he no. makes himself an imperial president. <laughs> he disobeys the constitution to become an imperial president. Right. right. Uh, let's hear from uh, Dr. Uh, Collins Odote just a moment. I, I wanted just to talk about also Raila Odinga and the, the Raila factor outside the Oka as it were. And you've seen also his launch today of uh, his um, um, election strategy as it were. Do you think he still has that particular political potency and weight that we've known Raila to have? That he can actually marshal the numbers as it were. Outside of Oka as it is, will Raila make it in this particular 2022 general election? No, he needs Oka. Deban, you've heard me, and I think you heard me before. I am fairly clear. Yes, both for Raila and for William Ruto. To win the next elections, they need others. They need fairly others. clear. And that's, uh, it might not be a, a popular statement, but I think if you look at the dynamics of this country, uh, the real, and if you look at the other things that are on, on the cards, the reality is that if you look at Raila's support base in 2013, his support base in 2007, his support base in 2022, uh, some of that has been chipped at. I think that's a, that's a reality. But w will he not really face some a considerable difficulty right now, owing to the fact that all these faces in Oka right now don't trust Raila? There is a tr trust deficit. Yeah. He never keeps his promise. The band, on this show, I am the only one who is not a politician. <laughs> but the one thing that the politicians will tell you, at, at least the two things they will tell you. First, is what they tell you in public is not what they do in, pub in private, number mm. one. Yes. And number two is that nothing is done until it is done. I can bet you the ball today. If we come to this show five months from today and you play what we said today, you will find that Farah will have adjusted a little bit what he said. You will find that the Honorable Shaquille will have adjusted a little bit what he said. And you will find the Honorable Alice Wahome will have adjusted a little bit what he said. Because of what is going to happen in the next few weeks. There's going to be some movement. And I bet you those movements will involve Oka, 
those movements will involve Raila, those movements will involve the mountain, I bet you. Mm -hmm. And that will have indications. I have a, a, a feeling that either of them will find any of the people who are contending and saying, no, 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 we are not going to join, we're not going to be joined. You'll find some people joining some others, and that will actually be the determinant for the elections, including for either. Right. Uh, I would love to know maybe from uh, Honorable Shaquille as well. You were in ODM before, and so was Farah as well. The question is, why are you frustrated while you are in ODM? Because the biggest question has been especially on the nominations. Nominations in every party were very difficult. It's not only ODM, it was the same thing with... Uh, no, 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 I'm just asking, party. no, I, I'm, I'm particularly intent on ODM. Why, mm. did you, why did you become an in, independent candidate? Because I did not get the I'm certificate. Sure. Why? I wasn't you, given the certificate. I did win, but I wasn't given the certificate. And remember, why, why weren't you given the certificate? I was... I'm pay. told parties have... Parties, have parties are like clubs. You didn't pay. No, I was, I was the one who was paying the most. If you, some of you, I, you, you remember, I used to be chasing you guys for not paying. I was your, I was a treasurer chasing for people. The, but let's let's not go let's let's not go there because I think, as I say, no, because we're talking about character at the yes, end of character. the day. Yeah, you know, this is a is a character of a person and the credibility of a person. And, and now that particular credibility and the character of a person also will determine, you know, the future formations that he will be joining. Because all of them are saying, no, uh, you never keep your promise. We don't trust you anymore. And that's why we want, is it beginning from the ODM party itself? That's the rhyme and reason that actually you yourself, you came out from ODM? Well, as you said, the people decided that they are going to vote for an independent candidate. And I was the independent candidate because I was not given the ticket by ODM. Not I, out of choice, not out of choice, but forced. But forced. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you, Why? if Kisumu, yes. if Kisumu East and Kondele, which is the heartbeat, can you? make an independent choice, why can't Kenya do the same? Oh, yeah. I think that's where we are, we are moving towards. Absolutely. And then the issue really is, and Farah Malim has brought it out very yeah. clearly, yeah. this is not going to be a straightforward for straightforward fight between two, two people. Mm. And it's going to be a third horse. I mean, I keep saying it. The dark there's horse. going to be the dark horse. A, a dark horse or there's going to be, you're not going to get 50 plus one in the first shot. You're not. All right. So and then you're going to get that one person who, who stopped that 50 plus one to make the determining decision of which way they're going. I think uh, Farah Malim, you were the speaker in this the last the tenth, par tenth parliament, and you remember there was a time that a particular issue was coming up. We had already the we are already quorum to make that change of two thirds, yeah. but we needed most of the votes. We lost by three votes only, if you remember, yeah. Yeah. and that, yeah. that you know the whole, two nearly two thirds less three. Mm -hmm two-thirds less two or something. Yeah. So th I think that is the basic thing. The issue of not keeping, keeping your, uh, your word, I, I, think, I, I, could, I think you can take it across the board with due respect. I mean, go to Kalonzo Misioka, go to Mudavadi, uh, go, to, um, go to our friend Watangula, yes? Go to Ruto. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we politicians, we, there are no black and white. There is gray. And what they may say is what is kept a word might be different from what you're seeing. Thank so you. So I have seen, I have seen that as far as my particular career was concerned, that I was given the ODM ticket in the first, very clearly by ODM. The second one was a little this way, that way. That is where, um, that is where we lost um, um, some credibility. And the third one was outright. Was outright. So you see the second one, uh, and the, there are a couple of us who, who, who felt what we call the power of the owners of the party. I think if you want to say it that way. Mm -hmm. And even in T, TNA at the time, it was the owners of the party. And the Jubilee came in and was the owners of the party. They decided A, B, C, or D. Yeah. And that was even when it came to, even came to the issue in the, this current parliament of what we call who is going to be 
the uh, the uh, chairman of a co committees. I was told very clearly, we will give you a chairman of committee, sign here, sign here that you are going to be working with us Jubilee. I said, I can't sign. I said, okay, you don't get it. So that was it. So we took every, the, so I, I think there is going to be a time and I think the Kenyan people are now working towards somebody that they can trust. Can they trust Raila in the long run? He has the track record. He has been there since 1960s. He's been in prison. He's suffered. He's done everything else, right? Who do we have opposite him? We have A, Kalonzo Misoka. Remember, not long ago, Kenyans used to call him a watermelon. Then we have Mudawadi. They call him a demoni, a fence sitter. We have William Ruto. And we have Raila. Those are the two. What did they call the other two? What was Raila called? Well, you know, I can't tell you what <laughs> Raila was called. And I can't tell you what William Ruto, Ruto was, was called generally. Okay. Do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Uh, Raila has a Monica as well. The Druto has a Monica. Yeah, but of course, yeah. D well, you push, tell me because don't from my point Shaquille. of view, mm. from my point of view, thank you. I don't see. I'm talking on behalf of my constituents. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Let, let me come to Alice Wahome and ask you this simple question because with all these formations that we're seeing and uh, the Limuru Three that is uh, upcoming in November, it's more likely to to to, to appear that the Mount Kenya will be pushing for a position of a vice president if Ruto runs for presidency. And from the assessment that we've all seen from the punditry as well, is the fact that even with the, with the bottom-up economy, if you flip this particular coin on the other side, it's a Kalenjin Kikuyu formation. Forever. And... Maybe the deputy president has realized if we actually have that particular formation going down uh, or being crammed down the throats of Kenyans, then that will be a hard sell. It will be such a hard scrabble. And that's mm -hmm. why you're, you're pushing for the bottom-up economy. But at the flip side of the bottom-up economy coin is a Kikuyu Kalenjin vote. So there is no way that the deputy president will break away from having a deputy president who is Kikuyu. How is he go going to run away from that particular fact? Because now, as we can see, their positioning, and this is a headline stance that is, drawn, uh, is being drawn on the, on the sand. Dibala, I think that question uh, speaks for it. The answer speaks for itself. Which, Which is... candidate will go on to presidential elections without a Kikuyu as a deputy president? Of all those candidates so far, none. But, That's my answer. But uh, yeah, none, including William Samoy Ruto. Including William Samoy yeah. Ruto. It won't be. It and, and won't it, be Oka candidate. It, yes, but, but it just, will not be Raila okay. candidate. It but, won't be. But the, the problem question and it's is not because. But the problem question is, wouldn't this be a perpetuation of no, this historical. particular, you know, presidency running between and shuffling between the Kikuyu voters and the and the Kalenjin, uh, not the Kikuyu presidency and the Kalenjin presidency? that we are actually shuffling all other Kenyan tribes. Right, right now, the bar, the largest supporters of William Samoy Ruto, most of his supporters, run across the country, had said that. But you want to box uh, UDA and William Ruto into... It is not where you come from. It is what you can be able to do in terms of economic uh, change in this country. And, but for you to arrive there, you need the numbers. You need the numbers. So arrangements in terms of, 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 of the only two positions for now, because the Constitution has two positions, and that's why we are saying, let's not haggle about positions. Let us exchange ideas and win on. Farah could win if he has the best idea, and Kenyans agree to buy. Right, the reason I'm asking so, this, yeah, yeah. thank you. The, the reason I'm asking this is also, or we have Moses Wetangolo who is saying, that the Oka outfit is not a closed shop. They are out also looking for a national profile, as it were. And from your own assessment, do you think you carry that particular national profile? For, for now? Yes. The deputy president, first and foremost, already has a national profile. Which is? So, what, what the body is so do you. I have myself or does William Ruto or UDA has a national profile? Yes. 
we went to Musabweni and it is our candidate that won. Is we have gone to Kiambu, we have gone to uh, Lift Valley, and we'll be going to Meru and we'll be winning. We also went to uh, Western Kenya. Look, I think we are working very hard. I, you know, this is not a complete game yet. We are working very hard. And I can tell you, the strategies that we have, there is no way you are going to tell us that we are not going to win the elections. So we what, win. What, Thank what you. The Thank is, you. Asking, is asking you, is, is it only a Kikuyu or a Kalenjin who can be the president of this country No, forever? he didn't ask me that. And that's exactly I, what I think I, I don't think I wanted to answer that question mm -hmm. because I say because you, you, said that you, just win, a moment. you yeah. win by numbers and the strategies that you come up with and the policy that you sell. We are selling bottom-up economic model that resonates with every Kenyan, wherever they are, but including his own constituency. But Alice, you said that just there is no way right, right, just, just a moment. without just. a deputy president from the mountain region. And I say, and, and you are saying now yes. that Ruto has to take a mountain region. And I, uh, correct. Just had a, correct. A, just a second. We've just had Akikuyu, Kalenjin. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, now you want to have Kalenjin, Akikuyu. From the beginning, it was Kikuyu, Kalenjin. Is, is that the only you way see, we Dibal, can? You see, Dibal, I also said yeah. that for you to be able to change. All these bananas and shenanigans of how we have been thinking, even if you look at the candidates that you have put under Oka, you yourself, the, and you are part of the Oka, yes. there, is, this, this, there is nothing new there. All right. Let, they let, have let, been presidential candidates thank before. You. So, Not for you minutes. to be able to come up with possible, maybe different candidate going forward, you first need to change the thinking of Kenyans. Yes. Yes. All right, let, let's hear from uh, Dr. Collins' the daughter. I, I wonder what you're reading from this as well, because my understanding or the way we, the assessment has been, yes, this is a bottom-up economics. Flip side of it on the coin is actually Kikuyu Kalenjin, yes. you know, no, uh, 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 unity. And so I, I know we know people have to look at it that way. So what at, is at trickle down? What is trickle down? Is it also Kikuyu Kalenjin? <laughs> <Not trickle down. laughs> now we'll have a mishmash of a trickle down. Yeah. Yeah. Do we really want yeah, to go there see, again? No. No, okay, let, let's say from Dr. Kelly's No, 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 no. I'm position. just no, no, no. I'm just asking because yes, as it were, it will be a perpetuation. People will see maybe when you are actually castigating the troubles alignment is the fact that also Kenyans cannot really see through uh, what bottom-up economics is all about at the end of the day. If you're reaching out to the hustler nation, of course, but on what is it predicated on? Is, is it not really still on, on tribal formation, as it were? Dibar, because this you, you is, need, is, is you what... You need to acquaint yourself no, no, I'm just... with, the, with the current mm -hmm. polls. Okay, maybe it's because there is no presidential candidate. Even putting all these candidates who are possible presidential candidates, you need to acquaint yourself with the polls and how they are going. Thank you. Dr. Yeah. Collins, uh, the back, come to you for there is a positive and negative side to this conversation. Please. I think the positive side is that, uh, and from what Honorable Alice Wahome is saying, is that we are starting to have a debate about issues. And I think there are many of us in this country who have been saying, let us have an issue-based election. So for me, when I hear conversations about uh, issues, uh, issues uh, whether you agree with those issues or not, uh, whether it is trickle down, whether it is bottom up, I think that's where the country should go. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's number one. But number two, I think we nas the negative side is the, the 2010 constitution promised us uh, to move towards a united nation. I think the reality, if you hear the, the question you are asking, the contestation about ethnicity and uh, tribes still rears its very ugly head. And I think the politicians of this table must be honest enough to say we are very far from having a country where we are not determined, judged by our ethnic configurations. And mm -hmm. despite everything else they say, behind the scenes, there's still conversation about this ethnic group and not the other. Mm -hmm. And when you hear it, it is painful. And I think we are far from it. The day we will get out of it is the day that Kenya will be a better place. And I think it is honest to say, unfortunately, I think for the, the 2022 elections, those ethnic calculations are going to be critical for the election. That's why the Honorable Home says that the deputy president must be from... Uh, the, you know, the deputy president for whichever party must be from the mountain. That is not an issue-based pol uh, politics. That's an ethnic-based politics. Mm -hmm. Shakil Shabir. No, it was me. You it's know, yeah, it's me. Shakil? It's me. It's me. Yes, uh, it is me. It is Shakil that will yes. come to you. Yes, yes okay. Shakil. You've been passed, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been passed, actually. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but um, I, I, I'll, see to the, I'll see to him first if you want. No, no, you continue. No, okay. no, My situation... You know, I, I sometimes think, as you said, 
We were in the constitution. We formed the. We were in the constitution review yeah. committee. Yeah. Remember, two thousand. Yeah. Where well, I was there, you were there. Yes, yes. Some of us were there. We talked about a united Ken nation, one one Kenya, one thing. Is it too far fetched to think, or to work, or to dream, or whatever, or to work towards a Ruto Raila? partnership is it something that can be worked towards at the, in a handshake is it something that they can mull together after all they've been together before yes there are lots of uh, lots of things that have gone beforehand is it too much to think and let's assume that uh, you're looking at assumptions right let's yeah, assume yeah. that tomorrow by magic or by the need to be build a one Kenya and the, the, the direction of both William Ruto and Raila Odinga is that whatever it is, let's put Kenya as one and ourselves as, as a, not, so, not the important mm. factor. And let us get together and build Kenya. Will mm. they win or lose on numbers? They will probably win. Mm -hmm. Because, and where does Mount Kenya come into this? Do you understand me? So I think what the idea really is, is that we must move towards issue-based politics. And you might find that if the best thing, I mean, my dream would be that Raila and Uhuru, no, no, Raila, Uhuru and Ruto came together. And Uhuru Kenyatta said, now I'm stepping back. I'm your, like your Nelson Mandela. You continue, the two of you. And you do it on the way that I worked with Ruto when I was in the beginning. We, they were literally, literally like co-presidents. Can that work? Will it help Kenya? You, all of you, we all admit that the best time that Kenya has had was under Kibaki. Under what you call Nusu Mukati. Uh, yes, I don't know. So I think the, the, the conversation must really go and these, uh, these leaders, who are the decision makers of where Kenya is going to be in 20 years' time, uh, Raila Molodinga, William Ruto, and Huru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. The others are also players. And I want, to, I want to go and talk about one thing that I saw once when I first saw this movie called Shaka Zulu. I don't know whether you saw it, but you see, he was coming across all of these so-called chiefs. You might remember. And they would come and they would fight for war and one would be on one side of the river and they were the other side and they would throw spears at each <coughs> other. And, and that was it. And they'd go home until Shaka came and went and went and stabbed some people, you know, that stabbing spear. So I think, as I said, is there a game changer somewhere? Is there somebody who will bring Raila, and Omolo, uh, Raila Molodinga and William Samoy Ruto together? Thank you. Is that Uhuru Kenyatta? Is it J.B. Muturi? Or is it some of the Oka people? Right, Farah Malim. Well, I, I think uh, a lot has been said. Uh, we, a lot is going to clear in the next couple of days. There's no question about that. Uh, like I put it, there are, there are facts that are going to be, you have to put certain facts to rest first. William Ruto, candidate for UDA, doesn't need a coalition. You can only join it and support it. But it's not a coalition. ODM, Raila Odinga. Right now there's talk of coalition between ODM and Jubilee. Let's see how it works out. I've just watched it in the, in the, in the news this, this, after, this evening. If it does work out, that's also going to be a coalition. Unlike what it was before, but of course with the presumption that Raila is un uh, no, no contestation on whether he's going to be the presidential candidate or not. He's an automatic presidential candidate. And then we have here Oka. And then we have all these movements, you know, the shakings and, 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 and movements within all the regions in the country here, where people are trying to position themselves for the best interests of their people, the Coast Province, Northeastern Province, uh, 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 Western, Western Kenya, which no longer is going to be taken for granted, as you've seen it right now, Ukambani and the rest of it. Now, where is going to be the area where people are going to, my, 
assumption and my focus, although you could say it's born out of a selfish uh, inclination, is that OCA is going to do very well in this case. Uh, and, 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 and for me, I want to wait and see the next couple of days when the BBI the decision itself is settled. And of course, then OCA comes up with a single candidate as soon as possible, not until the last minute. If OCA is going to prevaricate between now and the next two, three months without having a single candidate decided upon by all of them, then of course, people are going to lose hope and see that these people might never come together. And then they might run as separate independent parties. Yeah, each one of them is going to run separate on its own party. Now that, that becomes a very uh, uh, disappointing thing for those who are going to be prospective supporters for that. But if OCA is able to come with a single candidate and with a structure in the shortest possible time, uh, that is going to be the serious dark horse that you're going to watch. Because then you're talking about locking the whole of Western, locking Ukambani, uh, uh, and, and, and locking a number of other regions in the country who are sick and tired. You know, let me tell you, uh, Dibal, one thing. Uh, there's a fatigue. Personally, for all the presidential elections in this country, I've only supported a Jaramogi family. Only one time is when I supported uh, Nyachai in 2002, when Raila was not a candidate and his father was deceased then. But I supported the father in 1992, I supported him, Raila, in 1997, and, and, and I supported him in 2007, 2013, 2017. For God's sake, there is a fatigue. And in here, people are bound to say, look, we've tried enough. Be magnanimous enough yourself also to reciprocate all this generosity that was done by a baby of what you call, or a whole, what you call, team of uh, uh, prospective candidates like you who also had the presidential ambitions in the past. So that and the element of the trust which you talked about, and the element of the trust. Thank you. It's going to make a difference. There's one final thing I want to tell you about this, about this same thing. Mm -hmm. I personally, as a, as a member of ODM, a very ardent, powerful ODM person who really, with Shaquille and the rest of them, were there to defend the party's position on many issues, ran for the Speaker of the Senate in 2013. And I lost in the first round with one vote. And I lost five ODM votes. Five ODM votes. I went to Raila and I told him, why don't you rein in these people? Because they, the bulk of them are from the Coast Province. And this had more to do with um, a matter that I, I officiated in myself where some Supremo from that area is concerned. And uh, Raila just did not have the courage, the wherewithal to come out and discipline the party and say, let's move in this direction and this has got to be done. It was going to be a very big credit for the party. You, you got my point. So, so when it comes to, other than his, the selfish element of voting Raila in as a president, everything else within the party, Thank you. everybody in the party or in the coalition will tell you that he abandoned me at my moment of need. So to be able to trust him now is, is impossible. All right. Yeah. Uh, Collins, has Raila also failed to actually recast his political acumen and firepower, even looking today at just the launch of, uh, the launch of uh, Azimio Laomoja as well? There is no that razzmatazz. And there is no that hoopla that really, you know, he, he is attendant with Raila Odinga. Yeah, it seems he's, he's a pale shadow of himself. The bell, I think, two things. Uh, number one, Raila has been in the political scene for many years. While I said several minutes ago that uh, some of his support base has been chipped on, I think the reality is that he still has uh, a very sizable uh, support across the country. That's number one. But number two, to answer your question, you know, how old is Raila? 76. Yes, so he is not 45. He's not 40. So as you look at him, also remember that you're looking at somebody who has been the political skin for 40 plus years. So you're looking at somebody who is also fairly Old. aged. So I think that's something also that we need to keep into account as we judge him. So don't, when you say he doesn't have the razzmatazz that he had, for crying out loud, you're looking at a 77-year-old person. I think for his age, I think for me, he still has done a very good job in terms of mobilizing his political base. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me come to you, uh, Alice Ohome. And uh, the question that I want to put on this particular front is, looking at UDA as it is right now, that particular notion that we had before, that you're tight, you're interlocked, yeah, you're moving, you've actually captured Mount Kenya. In fact, the, the saying was, Meteka, Mount Kenya. And uh, looking at Moses Kuria, Martha Karua, and Kiunjuri right now, 
Are we seeing, in a sense, a development, a rift, a fissure that is cracking through, you know, so to speak, UDA? And this, at some point, what is happening to Jubilee might happen to UDA, an implosion. Uh, I think, Dibar, I want to repeat myself, and I don't know where you got this notion from. Please disabuse yourself that Martha Karua and Kyujuri were in UDA. They were never in UDA. No, they, First and foremost, they, they were been, never... been associated with no, the UDA. No, no, you see, because you asked Kyujuri me whether UDA will explode. Implode. 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 Yeah, you know, basically you are saying there will be a crack. They crack. were never... Yeah, crack. there will be a crack. They were, they were never in UDA. UDA is a new party. Of course, in terms of as a part, uh, coming from PDR, and then uh, where we are now, having a, a new name this year, we are moving on very well. We've even managed to capture several seats. So when you talk of clacking before we start, that's not going to be possible because of three people who were never really... Um, because you, you know Moses has been having his party. He's a supporter. Even now, he's still a supporter of... I haven't heard him saying that he's not a supporter of William Ruto. What he is saying is that he needs to position himself. All right, I think I, he needs I, I to be saying that. So okay, for, I, your, I, for I, you, the other people you have had yes. talking about meetings, bringing the mountain together, those people are in Jubilee. Jubilee is forming a coalition with ODM. We are not together and we were never together when we were bringing Mount Kenya together. And you can't expect that there will not be one or two people what is important is what is thank their, you. Thank you, what will be their impact. Maybe, maybe a, more, a more pointed question will be, who is in UDA? But King Jury was don't ask just me, a moment. No, don't no. ask me that question. Why not? Who, no. who, who, who is in UDA? Who because UDA? UDA, we're talking about UDA. We, but we are not talking about... Uh, Deputy President William Ruto is not in about UDA. You are not in UDA. I think you are not understanding the model for UDA. What? It's an economic model. It's not a personality model so no, i will no, no. not tell you the that is a model th that is a For model now, of a party but i just want to ask you a simple question you are in jubilee or uda the hasra Who is nation the hasra nation is in uda what is the hasra nation is in UDA. <laughs> and you know, you are looking for changing the way we do politics you know, in this country. It's true. I don't, agree. Don't, I agree. But don't you, put too me, much no. premium in some names you know. instead of putting premium on the voter. Yes. And that's where we lose it. Put premium on the voter. The Mount Kenya people have told Uhuru. I mean, in a minute, but you, but, but you, you know, know, as, no, no, as no, their no. leader, just, just a moment. like finish your term and leave us to make a decision for the next presidential you know, candidate. What, what you actually have done is, and Me most of you, person? you as a person and most of actually members of UDA, so to speak, of which it is very amorphous, we don't know their faces, because you ask them, are you in UDA? They don't actually categorically but, uh, come we, forth and say, they're in UDA, you are still in week, Jubilee. You saw you last week I read a statement and we had 150 members of parliament. Why don't you resign and join UDA tomorrow? Then th we, that solves the no, problem, no, doesn't no, it? No, you know, you, you no, know, no, seriously, you don't why don't determine you do who resigns no, why don't you resign when and tell in a us party and come that in you UDA. don't control and you don't uh, manage. Uh, Alice, you don't Alice, determine you, that. And by the way, you did that, by the way, honorable member, I would even vote for you. But, oh, by the way, honorable member, don't sell that because it won't sell to any member who was a Jubilee member. Jubilee, you know, you saw the faces that were there? that are talking about combining, joining UD, uh, ODM and uh, Jubilee, those two faces are responsible, uh, almost 90% uh, responsible, of course, with the approval of uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, Dibar. to destroy Jubilee. So you don't expect that people will stick there and stay in a party that is not Thank functioning. You. Thank you. So Dibar, who is in UD? Yes. I have answered you. Yeah, Dibar, Thank you up, up, until, up until the other day, to begin with, King Jury was thrown out of the cabinet because of his proximity to William Ruto. I don't know. So you that. don't tell me that he's not. I in don't UDA. know that. Up until the other day, Moses Kuria was supporting <coughs> William Ruto to the hilt. As we get closer to the death, the D Day, the mountain will begin moving out in droves. And by the way, let me tell you one thing. Central Kenya or mountain region has one peculiar character. And that character itself will, will play out again. In the last election... Voting together. Other than, no! Other than, I think, Alice Wahome, Kimani Chungwa, who else? And, and the Kenny guy. 
Kenyan 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 these MPs who are running around right now with, uh, <laughs> with William Ruto, you can rest assured they'd be lucky if two or three of them come back to Parliament again. To assume that they are opinion leaders on the ground because there are 150 of them around him is, is to say the least, a misplaced, what you call, notion and assumption. Thank I you. don't want to predict that. Uh, Farah. No, I 80, that no, is that, not, that, that, that is, is not true. That is 75% no, You said the, the ones numbers. running around. 85%. 85%. 85%. They, you, you know, the, I think the mistake that, yeah. you made is to say the ones running around with William Ruto. What is peculiar about running with William no, Ruto no, 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 and I mean, not running with the... With uh, Raira and but not 80%. running and not running with the uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. I, th I think the gist is what he's saying is this: the, the gist yeah. of eighty percent of our MPs are not coming. Are, are not, not coming, coming back. back. Are not coming back. Talk about the whole house. It's the whole house. Yeah, yes. it's not peculiar. Yes. So peculiar. don't be selective. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, thank you. So, so thank that, you. That, yeah. that, 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 the mountain region. The clock now. The mountain region. And let me add also an Mauka Maure. Just a moment. An Mauka Maure, but he has come in, I think, the third time now. He does very well on his constituents. Let's let's have one meeting, please. Yes, Faramali. The point. The point I'm trying to tell you. Whether you come up with uh, something you're calling a hustle a nation and nobody understands, including the ones who are saying hustle a nation, and you're saying bottom up. By the way. All he's a he's a he's, he's a finance guy. He's you an know, economist. You know, you know just a second. Let me just you finish. Know he stopped me from finishing. Let no, he, he didn't finish your, your yeah, point. Yeah, I never finished because. I, I'll give it time. Let, let, let him yeah. just finish. For a malim. Or maybe I should just deny is, both is, of you. Is, let, let, no, no, just a moment. No, let me just now. finish what I'm doing. No, 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 no. Let me just hear from uh, because of time. No, but I haven't said anything, and she has not said anything. But you're not saying anything. Then. But I'm saying now. Oh, okay, say. He's, he's, he's a man. He's, he's, a, he's got a financial finance background. He's an economist by extension. I'm talking about uh, Shaquille. Shaquille. Yes. Every economic model in the country, except what was called economics. And when you talk about the trickle-down thing, it was the economics, which basically is, is what divides the, the Republicans and the Democrats in, 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 in America. The Republicans are supposed to be the worker, the, 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 the business friendly, and the other one is supposed to be the, 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 the Democrats are supposed to be the worker friendly. Mm. So for them, they will say, tax the big man, the rich people less, allow them to do a lot of capital accumulation, let them use that capital accumulation to cut the hard industry, and let it trickle down to the common man through employment and the rest. But every other model that we've had in this country, every model we had, was a bottom-up model in this country. Look at the, the, the economic models we've had for our budgets, or for our, for our, for our, for, for right from the session paper number 10. Thank you. Although, although it excluded certain parts of the country. Oh. But for the areas where it included, it was a small holder. Fantastic. I want you to hear, I want you to listen. The small holder, the one who owns one acre, two acres of coffee and tea farms in the, in the so-called highlands in the country here. That is where the focus was. Fantastic. I'm being hounded out of a studio and I will be remiss if I don't ask you this question and we wind up on this because Friday is a big day. And I wanted just to pick also uh, or the turn of thought of uh, Dr. Collins Odote on this as well. Do you think maybe, even with these pronouncements today from OCA, uh, the ODM Jubilee Party, you know, coalition that is in the all thing as well, they're jumping the gun. They should have waited maybe on Friday. Then we know where is the needle moving. Will it move a jot and change the political direction of it this country? It won't affect Oka. Will it won't affect Oka, anything? No. Yeah. Let, let's see. For Oka, it will not affect. Debal. Okay. Let's hear from uh, First, Dr. I Collins. I agree with the Farah. But yes. secondly, you are not a politician. You know the politicians. Four months ago, uh, BBI was make or break. Now with the elections a year away. Their eyes are tuned to those elections. So BBI will be an equation, but not the main equation. Mm. Uh, so they are preparing. That's why you've had, if you've listened to politi politicians today, each of them is saying, we will they abide will with the results of Friday. Yes, yes, because yes, people yes. are preparing themselves for, if this happens, what will we do next? That's There's no longer time to try and uh, undo or to try and do something. Now there's time to prepare for 2022. So yes. I think that... Uh, BBI is going to be important, but it's not going to be the greatest game change. I think what's going to happen, for example, and that's why I was disagreeing with Farah, if BBI comes with five positions, 
and says, yes, we are agreeing. If the Court of Appeals comes and says, we are agreeing with the, what the BBI proposal was, it has implications on the coalition arrangements. If it says no, it also has yes, implications yes. on the coalition arrangement in terms of the position that are available. Thank you. Winding, yeah. winding thoughts, Farah, uh, uh, let's I, begin. Yeah. Okay, first let's, and let's foremost, go to, yeah, uh, okay. sorry, 20th, Alice, yeah. on 20th, I think it will not Very be, briefly, because we're winding 20th up. 20th will not be the last of it, because this is a very important case to add at the Court of Appeal. I think it will go to Supreme Court, so I don't think I'm counting everything that will happen on Friday as the end result. Fine, but, but also, uh, Raira Udinga is actually uh, uh, looking for support from Oka. It's not there, and I don't think it will be there. Uhuru Kenyatta wanted them to support Raira. Thank you. But Raira is not uh, no longer energetic. I think you, Farah is right. You know, the energy is over. The, the, right. the, the energy is Shake, over. The decision is Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta is going to decide who Aye. is going to be the main players. Right? Aye. And that's what I say. They, the, he will support who he supports. Whoever he supports is the winner. No. Yeah. We'll give that extra edge. Actually. They give the extra edge. Thank you. No, he will. No, no, All right. No, no. We're winding up. For the Malim, your, yeah, yeah. your, your headline thoughts, please. Uh, my, mine is that, look, Uhuru will have very little influence in this yes. election. Yes. Exactly the same way Kibaki had a zero influence in the last election. I agree with you. If you remember very well, Kibaki had wanted Mudabadi to take over from him. Thank but, you. but basically, I, I it never worked. Farah. Yeah. So Uhuru will have very little influence. Oka is going to have his own candidate. Yeah. Uh, Central Kenya is going to go in different directions, but I have a feeling that the majority of them will go to Oka. Uh, you see what I mean? Thank you. So, so let's let's see how it works out. Collins, <laughs> finally. Dubai. I think you need to call us back here in one month so no, we can have no, this no, after BBI. One week. And I will do that. <laughs> one week. But after and BBI is going to wind up. Yes. In my view. I think the coalition conversations over the next one month is going to have a determination of the elections. I think each of the politicians on this show mm -hmm. is giving a case for their coalition for their political parties, which is legitimate. But I think the conversations is going to affect all of them, and there's going to be movements on both sides. Right. Thank you. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. I can see lots of uh, feedback here. Uh, from Daktari as well. I won't be able to read all of this uh, because of uh, we're really stuck for time and being hounded over studio. But uh, nonetheless, I want to thank you so much for a very immersive, very co uh, uh, compelling discussion that we've had this evening. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. Good evening. You've been watching Punchline. And I uh, thank you so much for your valid company. Also as well for those uh, uh, tweets that we've received from you, the feedback from Facebook as well. Thank you uh, for sticking with us. Sleep easy.